Yeah. So, uh, welcome everybody. Uh, how have you been doing? All good? Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. So, um, um, our friend, uh, Professor B was actually uh, uh, giving a talk on in his inauguration, and he mentioned uh, he mentioned uh, um, a Dhammapada Dhammapada verse, uh, and uh, some of you wanted to hear the the translation. Uh, shall we shall we uh, shall we start with that? Uh, do you think what what was the yeah, it is a Dhammapada 49. Um, so would you would you uh, uh, would you get uh, let me let me actually Dhammapada 49. Let me see if I could get that. So anyway, why don't you why why do one of you actually get the get uh, the worst on the internet and maybe I could co you know make you a co-host and uh, put it put it up is, is it is it a coincidence that this verse is about the bee oh it's not no, it's not it's not <laughs> he explained about it he, he explained about uh, why he chose uh, that verse in his Lecture. Yeah, yeah. Is it forty one? So, yeah. So let let let's get the. Would one of you just uh, Google it, Dhammapada forty nine, and uh, uh, put it put it on the um, on the screen. Um, so in the meantime, um, uh, just I just forgot to get the the verse. Uh, let me let me actually quickly have a look. Uh, yeah, yeah. Could you could you Bante? Uh, I will. I'll make you the co-host. Uh, could you yeah. put that put that uh, line in yeah, on the screen? Yeah. So, Oh, this is already already in there. Okay, on the chat. Is it Dhammapada verse 49? Yeah. So I think what is what is, what is uh, good is to read uh, read the Pali version. Yeah. Where is where's the Pali here? Is it just the translation? Oh yeah. There is the translation, this is the Pali. Can you can you all see it on your chat? Uh, no. I have this my phone. Uh, yeah, it's it it on the chat. On, on the chat box. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Would you would you chant Bante? Okay, sir. Yeah. Yatapi bhamaro pupang one gang dang aet yang paleti ras madaye evanga me muni chare. Mm, beautiful. Yeah. So, uh, mm -hmm. let's, yeah, yatapi bhamaro pupang. Um, can you can anyone guess what the yathap is just like similar to yeah as as you know yeah that yatha yatha tatha now we actually see this uh, all the time yatha you know uh, you know yatha tatha and uh, now these are kind of relative clauses uh, so yatha api becomes you know yatha api 
but actually this is not I, it, is, it should be long R, yathapi, not yathipi. Yathapi bhamaro, who is bhamaro? Maybe the B, I don't know. Yeah, bhamaro is B. <laughs> Yeah, not okay. Professor B, but uh, the B, right? <laughs> well, in a way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> yathapi bhamaro pupam, pupam. Pupam, what, what is pupam? Is that the flower? The flower, yeah. Uh, so, yathapi bhamaro pupam, just like the bee on the, you know, uh, flower. Uh, actually, uh, one gandang ahetaya. One, one is color. Gandha is uh, fragrance. One and gandha. One gandang ahetaya. So, is it? Oh, sorry. Is one it really, gandang ahetaya. Is it really one word? No, no, no. Word? It is no, no, no. One is one oh. word. Gandha. No, I, well, I, I mean, but I mean yeah. the, the Pali word is one word. Oh, Pali, Pali word. word. One Gandha is uh, two words, but it's oh, combined yeah. together. Yeah. Ah, okay. One okay. Gandha. Ahetayang. Ahetayang means uh, unaffected or undamaged, without damaging the color or the fragrance, paleti rasamadaya, you know, the, he's just, he actually uh, thrive on, you know, taking the nectar. Rasa, rasa is, you know, rasa. Rasa is kind of taste, but in this case, uh, that is nectar. Rasa adaya, adaya is having taken. Paleti you know, thrive or, you know, sustain. Evam uh, game muni chare. Like this, evam game in the, in the village or in the uh, catchment area. Muni, muni. Well, who is muni? The wise man. Yeah, wise man. Chare. Chari kind of uh, behaves or lives or sustain, reside, all this mean, you know, char charati, charati. So it's a beautiful uh, verse and there's also really good, uh, good meaning. Uh, so why did you, why, you know, why, why did you want to, uh, want to know uh, more about this? Uh, because uh, because uh, it was it was used in the lecture. Yeah. He uh, talked ever, uh, very much about it, and, and he made a kind of, I think, a kind of um, how do you call it? Um, also an explanation, but also uh, a kind of. I know the, I don't know the English word um, about how he he wants to do things. Yeah. Uh, he made a kind of how do you say that the English word? In the Netherlands is vergelijken. Weet iemand dat Engelse woord? Vergelijken? Yeah, it's a compar comparison. And he made a comparison about how he wanted to do things and uh, the meaning of the verse. At least that was what I. Uh, yeah. No, I, I think I think it is. It, no? it it's a very it is symbolic of of, uh, uh, you know, as to how the holy people mm -hmm. should, uh, you know, behave or sustain, act. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, the, the bee, I mean, the flower, uh, I mean, one gandang ahetaya, now, you know, without damaging the flower, without the, you know, the, I, mean, I think I think it is, he's also doing pollination, uh, you know, in the flower. So is is while he's actually making a contribution to the flower, he's sustaining uh, with the nectar. So it, it, it is quite quite a symbol. So 
this this uh, analogy is found in the the canon quite a bit, quite a few times. You know, um, the monks, you know, when they when they sustain, they have to live on the charity, but uh, charity is not not actually hurting people, not damaging people, not um, making it difficult for people. So the flower doesn't even uh, feel that you know the nectar is being taken away. So it's it's quite quite a quite a symbol. One nagandang ahetel palitira samadaya evang gami munichari. So um, the Buddha Buddha actually um, advised monks to when when they actually because because it's a it's a the life of of an ascetic a recluse uh, is is uh, has to be really very well defined in the sense uh, it's it's not going to I mean you know I mean they 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 cannot harbor food. They have to sustain on others. Um, and at the same time, they do that uh, with the intention of serving the community rather than you know, having a selfish motive. So this is the whole idea of even Pindapath, uh, the bowl round. Uh, sad thing is uh, you, don't, you can't practice in, in some places. You know, when uh, people are not there in, in, the, in their homes all the time. So, um, I mean, in, in Asia, this practice of uh, bowl round, you know, you just go around and collect your food. And they, ca they cannot actually store food either. So, uh, so they, you know, it's a, it's a once a day affair. So, yeah. yeah. So, so, so. so yeah. It's also that the flower profits from the bee, of course, because the bee is making, uh, yeah, uh, getting him, uh, say, yeah, other flower make other flowers in a way. So he's spreading exactly, uh, yeah, yeah. Now, now I think that is that's the that's the, you know like this. This is not not a one way thing. Uh, where the the pinda part, I mean, we we just normally think the the it is for the benefit of the of the ascetic, the monks that, you know, they, they come for food, but no, um, that is, uh, that's actually bi-directional rather than, you know, unidirectional, yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, any more, any more thoughts? I think that's a nice uh, reflection. Evangame munichari. So I think, uh, I mean, I didn't, I didn't understand uh, Professor B's presentation much. Uh, those of you who watch it, uh, do you have anything to say? I was there, but uh, sadly, I, I didn't understand. Oh, it, it was actually the English version was there, but I didn't, I, I didn't have time to uh, see it. But I got the gist of it anyway. So, <laughs> without, without the language. <laughs> There were actually a lot of pictures and yeah. Any any uh, reflections on that? I haven't haven't seen it. Yeah. Okay. So how many of you watch it? I watch it. Only one. Okay. Yeah. But there were there were about 50, 60 people. Uh there I was good actually, yeah. Mm, really good as atmosphere. Uh, I, I mean, it is. Was... Sorry. No, I wanted to say I thought it was uh, remarkable that uh, Dr. B was speaking uh, Dutch because that's not his native language. I was I was surprised. I thought he would uh, would uh, give his lecture in in English. Uh huh. But but his his uh, his his native language is Dutch, isn't it? Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. 
Isn't it's that German. his uh, native language? No, it's German. No. Yeah, he's from Germany, but then he lived in like the West or England. I think. Oh. England. Yeah. England. I see. Yeah, but I think bees know so many languages. Uh, yes. <laughs> probably wasn't that difficult to learn one more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, indeed, indeed. Yeah, very good. So, okay, folks, uh, uh, let's let's get on with our uh, um, lesson today. Uh, so, where were we last time? Anybody can remember? I can't. We were talking about like uh, five aggregates and also uh, and how four was the created. And, yeah. Um, you wanted to know like uh, Rupati, San, Janati, Vedanti, Vedanati, like how like that they are um, activities like a. Life. Yes. Oh, very good. <laughs> Excellent. That's uh, brilliant. So I have actually quite a quite a um, few different versions. Um, let me get the right version actually. Uh, no, this is not it. Uh, okay, so what what do you think of the of the sutra? Yeah, yeah that was a kajaniya, wasn't it? Kajaniya. Um, the summary of the sutra was. Actually, you know, um, the summary of the sutta is, uh, um, oh, remember, yehi kechi bhikkave samanava brahmanava aneka vihitam ubbe nivas nivasam anusaramana anusaranti sabbe te panchupadana kande anusaranti etamva anyataram. You know, uh, whosoever actually remember the past, if you if you remember a past, what you remember is five clinging aggregates. Yeah. Uh, so then he said, uh, uh, he said, uh, you know, and then he defined what the, what rupa, what vedana, what sanya, what sankara and what vijnana is. So, um, and some of you actually uh, reflected deeply on the sutta. It's, a, it's one of the, you know, it's a, one of the very uh, profound suttas. So, Panchupadana Kand. Now, this is, this is the order. If you were to actually, uh, if you were to, uh, I mean, you know, uh, this is this is what the world. This is how the world is actually um, seeing the seeing these five aggregates. Yeah. Um, did you did you want to ask anything, uh, Julia? No, no. Okay. So Rupa, no, no Rupa, you know. Rupa and and you actually look you you accept you accept and you assume and you um, subscribe to Rupa and uh, and uh, and then uh, then you say that Rupa is subject to Rupana yeah uh, and you 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 know you see a, a Vedana you actually accept. Vedana, and then um, it is its nature is way you know Vedayati is in the form of feeling, Sanya uh, Sanjana, Sankara Sankarun Sankaronti, 
vijnanang vijanati. Now that's that's normal worldly way of uh, seeing it, but but uh, then then the Aryans Aryans see in a different perspective. Remember, now they actually they they actually see it exact opposite. Yeah. Now rather than rupa becomes rupana, the Buddha, Buddha says rupa titiko bhikkave rupa. The nature of rupana, rupana actually gives you the rupa. Veda titiko bhikkave tasma vedana tibhujjati. Sanjana titiko bhikkave tasma sanya tibhujjati. Sankaron titiko bhikkave tasma sankara tibhujjati. Yeah. Uh, Vijana titiko bhikkave tasma you know, vinyananti. Now, do you see any difference here? So it is like an activity, like a verb, because we have on the left, we have uh, verbs. So yeah. out of activity, uh, something is in a way solidified. So we kind of, yeah. activity solidifies itself into an aggregate that we then think is uh, solid and kind of permanent. Exactly. So it's, it's a, you know, the, whenever you have a verb or process, this is a process verb. Process verb actually gives you the idea of an entity. Um, process um, of feeling gives you an, end, you know, um, you know, Vedana. So um, now, now all the nouns in the world are found, found because of our ignorance. You know, there are no nouns in the world. <laughs> so you can, you could actually make a quite uh, strong generalization. You know, no nouns. <laughs> only pro only verbs do you agree so we mean only processes and not uh, concepts exactly uh, okay. it yeah pros yeah processes processes gives the um idea of an entity so what is an entity, existing entity in the world? Um, that is that, you know, we actually uh, form that out of our not knowing. Yeah. And the, and the, um, and the formula is avijja, avijja pachaya, Sankara So wherever you find Sankara and the Sankara actually comes from Avijja, isn't it? So if you find if you find the Sankara, now Sankara is the nom nominal form, noun form. If you find if you found, find a noun, that is due to due to avijja. So um, now see the see the problem we are having. I mean, uh, and sadly we we actually take the opposite, doesn't it? You know, we actually um, because of avijja, we actually form a sankara. And then the sankara, you know, look at sankaras as you know, blah blah blah, and that is that's that's a wrong way around, isn't it? Excuse me, is it that the process of sankara itself manifests as the noun or the verb? Yeah, yeah, sankara, yeah, sankara, sankara is, I mean, of course. 
um, is a nominal form actually, but but what what is sankara? Sankara is also a um, process. Yeah, and and uh, the reason why we actually identify a noun is because of because we are not aware of it. Now that is you know this is actually um, this is the wrong wrong way around. So, uh, I mean, there, there is actually a lot, lot to reflect here. Um, and and, and uh, now see the difference between uh, Panchupada and Panchakanda. Now, if, if somebody were to ask, uh, why do, you know, why do we form, you know, pancha, pancha upadana kanda? So this is here, Upadana. Yeah, so upada means actually clinging or, you know, at attachment, upadan. So our upadan, the main, main cause of our upadan is, is uh, you know, tanha, yeah, because of tanha, Tanha Pachaya Upadana. Now remember the 12 links of the Paticca Samupad? Yeah, Tanha Pachaya Upadana. Upadana is due to Tanha. Yeah, okay. So what, yeah. what does, uh, how do you um, translate pach, pachaya? Is it? Oh, pachaya. Pachaya is, you know, caused by or conditioned oh. by pachaya. Yeah. And uh, pachaya pachupana. Now, now pachaya pachupana, uh, pa, you know, pa, pachaya is actually uh, dependently a reason, like uh, causally, causally formed. Yeah, pachaya. Avijja pachaya sankara. And the opposite of pachaya is what? Nirodha, right? Oh, yeah. Nirodha. So, uh, avijja nirodha, tanha avijja nirodha, sankara nirodha. Uh, tanha nirodha. Upadana Nirodha. Uh, so that's the opposite of Pachaya. Cessation. Yeah. So when when one sees this, it ceases. Okay. Now that is basically the summary of what we discussed uh, last week. Um, any any question uh, about anything we said? Uh, we did a bit of bit of chanting at the end. Um, yeah. Say namo te purisajanya, namo te purisuttama, yasa te nabijanama, yamini saya jayasi. So uh, now that was a kind of an udana by, uh, by you know, one deity. So, um, what, this what, what's the last word, may I ask? Sorry, the la what, what, what's the last word after what you uh, what you oh, uh, oh, okay, yeah, some or something? Oh, oh, you, you mean this one? Yes, Satamam. Yes. Oh, Satamam, that is the that's the number, uh, Sat that the sutra, sut. You know, Sattamam, Satta, uh, Atta, Nava, uh, it is a number. Okay. Yeah. But After. What number? Uh, sorry? Uh, I said, uh, what, what number? Said, oh, this is a seven, number. number seven. Yeah. Satta. Satta oh. is number seven. Yeah. Now, Eka, Du, Ti, Chatutta, Pancha, Chatta, Satta, Atta, now, yeah, 
But why is the why is is standing there? Oh, what is <laughs> why why why, why that why? number is there? Oh, that is yes. in the in the numerical order of the sutras. Um, just just to identify the sutra, usually you put the number. I mean, you know, after after the um, I mean, every, every sutra you have a number uh, put in there, so that it is actually not not quite relevant, <laughs> but it has been okay. you know okay. added. Okay. Thank okay? You. Thank you. Yeah. Sure. Um, so okay, folks. Uh, okay, Atamitra. Uh, as I wasn't there last week, um, how would you then translate a ru rupati? Is oh, that... how do you translate rupati? Good question. Yeah, rupati. Uh, how did we translate rupati last time? What was the word that we the used? The process of rupa. <laughs> Sorry. The process of rupa or something like that. The process of rupa. Process of rupa. Yes. Yeah, well, no, no, rupana, rupana is actually, I mean, I think uh, rup, rupati, that's it, the triggering part, trigger. You know, ka, uh, now, sita enapi rupati, it says, by the cold, the rupana process starts. Um, so the emergence, now now I'll give you an example of Rupan. It's a really interesting uh, interesting one. So if I if I if I um, uh, okay, uh, I just want to say we exactly said it's like process of forming the form and it's like shape shifting. Uh, yes. yeah yeah yeah, it is it's a, it's a it's the it is actually now, now think of the think of the uh, movie, yeah. Um, when there is an action in the movie, uh, what you have is actually a series of hundreds of flashbacks of pictures, right? And so that is the process. So now now let's say if I'm going to write a letter, uh, I mean English letters are really horrible. So I mean, and 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 do you know? Do you know what letter I'm going to be writing here? Uh, I, I don't see anything happening. Sorry. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. The, but but if I actually do this, then you will tell me. Ah, um, this may be a tent. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you yeah exactly you know when when it is the, like this you don't know what it is so you are in the process of rupana the rupana is the like you know when i when i write uh, um uh like, now i think the sri lankan letters are quite interesting now now this is the letter a in sri lanka you know singhala and then you have you know, this is this is U, but I mean uh, A to become A. You know, you have you have to do this. Okay, now that's A, but but when you now see this whole process of emerging the letter, yeah. Now that is a process of you know that is called that. Is called rupana. It is the it is that that's true. I mean, you know, if if it if it were the the dotted, you know, like this this dotted process of dots, yeah. Now now this you know this this process you don't know what is going to happen, but when now why how how are we going to actually form this letter? Yeah, because because we we actually um, we add something from our mind. Okay, it is the it's a mind process. It's the mind which actually you know does the whole thing of rupan. Yeah, do you understand? Yeah. So so but 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 our you know our idea is. 
we are actually holding, bearing this concept in our mind already. And then, then we are actually producing it in outside. So this is what happens when you, when you look outside your window on the street, you see, ah, those are the cars. You know, cars, buses, trains, planes, blah, blah, blah. So all the stuff, um, you, have, you have already formed it in the mind. But what is it, you know, where does that um, process come from? That, that process is in the mind. It's a mental process. And, you know, we are under the delusion. And, and because of our, our sankharas, our formations in the past, and we give ascribe meaning to these objects. Yeah. So does that mean there are no objects in the world? No. <laughs> there are no objects in the world, only objections. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? I, I, I don't think you, you can be, uh, well, there are neither objects no no there are not no objects exactly uh, and and that's that's the thing you know either you say if you say yes there are objects or no there are no objects those are two extremes but but the the paticca samuppada is when this is present this is present arising of this arises this when this isn't this isn't and the cessation of this ceases this so that's the that is what is called uh ida pachayata yeah. in pali in pali it is called ida pachayata now in the in the paticca samupada remember now we will be actually learning it in the pachaya sutta uh, there are four conditions the buddha mentioned for there are four conditions of Paricca uh, Samampada, um, it's called it is it's called Tatata. Tata. Ta. Avi. Tata. Ta. Anang. Ananya. Tata. And the last one is idapachata. Yeah, we will we'll be discussing a sutta. Tathata is objectivity. Now, the Buddha said uh, it was not my mental formation, mind, it, it, but it is. This is the this is objective objective reality. And avitatata is invariability. Ananyatata is the exceptionlessness. Idapachata is causality or conditionality. So we will be discussing this. I mean, these are very important uh, concepts. There is one sutta that we will we'll come to that uh, in this one. Now, today we are going to discuss actually a sutta called Vipallasa. Vipallasa. Um, so, um, yeah. Now this is this is a, again this relates to our topic. Um, it's a very short sutta. Okay. Um, are you all all good to go? Okay. Good. Vipallasa means actually distortion or um you know wrong taking erroneous you know taking things erroneously last um what's another better translation vipallas is it comes from sanskrit sanskrit um, can can you hear me okay? My internet is a bit flaky today. Um, 
So vipalas is uh, it, it comes from Sanskrit word viparyas, viparyas, yeah, viparyas. The the, the topsy turvy. Uh, so. Yeah, topsy turvy. Yeah, viparyas. So is it topsy turvy or upside down? Yeah. So topsy turvy. Is, is another expression of complete distortion. Yeah. And the Buddha says, Chattaro, uh, who's going to read? I think, you know, yeah. um, I think I would like an, a volunteer to read uh, a little bit so that I can save my throat. Oh, I can try. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, Julia. Mm. Yeah. Chat. Chat. Tarome bikave sanya vipalasa chitta vipalasa diti vipalasa katame chattavaro anicha bikave nichanti sanya vipalaso chitta. I think it's good for chanting. <laughs> <laughs> Let's chant then. Yeah, very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> that's really good for chanting. You're right. Um, we will we will do that after. Let's let's actually get the get the meaning first. Now the first sentence. Thank you, uh, Julia. Chattaro me bhikkave. What is chattaro? Chattaro. Now, now this is actually two words here. Chat. Chattaro plus ime. Chattaro ime becomes chattaro me. So it's it's a sandhi join. <laughs> yeah. Chattaro ime bhikkave sanya. Sanya vipallasa. Now there are there are monks. What, what is chattaro? Four, four. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So chattaro, ime bhikkhave. Uh, the monks. There are these four distortions. What are the four distortions? Uh, Sanya vipallasa, chitta vipallasa, dikti vipallasa. Oh, now, now, chataro me, sanya vipallasa, you know, bikave, sanya vipallasa, chitta vipallasa, dikti vipallasa. So there are four types of uh, wrong perceptions, four types of uh, fabric, chitta, you know, mind distortions, four types of dikti. Uh, that is view distortions. Uh, and then, then he explains, Katame Chattaro. Okay, do you want to uh, go on a little bit uh, more, Julia? I can try. Yeah. yeah. Diti Vipala so Dukhe Vikave Su. Kanti Sanya Vipalaso Chitta Vipalaso Diti Vipalaso Anatani Bikave Atati Sanya Vipalaso Chitta Vipalaso Diti Vipalaso Asuhe Bikave Subhanti Sanya vipalaso, chitta vipalaso, diti vipalaso, ime ko bikave chattaro, sanya vipalasa, chitta vipalasa, diti vipalasa. Very good. Excellent. So, so the, the Buddha says, you know, there are four types of distortions 
in the area of this three, three into four, okay? Katame chattaro, which four? Aniche. Aniche in the impermanence. In, in the impermanence. Aniche. We all understand Aniche, yeah? Aniche. In the impermanence, mangs Nichang. Nichang iti. Now, Nichang ti is again two words. Nichang iti. Sanya uh, vipalla. So, there is. Sanya vipallasa, chitta vipallasa, ditti vipallasa. You already know what they are. Sanya vipallasa, distortion of perception, distortion of thought, mind, distortion of view. Yeah. Dukhe bikkhavi. Now, now again, uh, in the, in, it, not in in anicca dukkha anatta yeah you you know this yeah, we have already discussed this dukkhe dukkhe bikkave sukhanti you know to, in the dukkha you know sukhang is uh, pleasant yeah the opposite of dukkha sukhanti sanya vipallasu chitta vipallasu ditti vipallasu yeah, in anattani bhikkhavi, anattani bhikkhavi, uh, in the non-self, anatta, you know, in, now this is the, the fourth, actually seventh uh, case, sattami, yeah, Sat, anatta, anattani, in, in the anatta, attati, atta, the, the self, Self, assuming self in non-self is a sanya vipallasa, chitti vipallasa, ditti vipallasa. Asubhe, asubhe. What is asubha? Uh, the ugly? Yeah, ugly or unattractive. Um, unattractive. So if you say ugly, um, it is also adding something to it. So, you know, in the unattractive, Pekave yeah. Subanti, attractive is a Sanya Vipallasa, Chitta Vipallasa, Ditti Vipallasa. Yeah. Ime Ko Bhikkhavi Chattaru, these four uh, monks, four of these monks. Sanya vipallasa, chitta vipallasa, ditti vipallasa. Now these are actually the um, sanya, chitta, ditti. Yeah. Now, having discussed that, uh, you know, Buddha talks about the opposite. Yeah. Who is going to read a little bit more? Uh, I shouldn't uh, force Atamitra, but uh, if you want to, <laughs> if you want to uh, um, do some reading, you can even chant it. It's a difficult one, though. <laughs> I can I can read it if you, if you like. Yeah, yeah. Chattarome bikave na sanya vipalasa na chitta vipalasa na ditti vipalasa. Katame mm -hmm. chattaro aniche bikave anichanti na sanya vipalaso na chitta vipalaso na ditti vipalaso. Duke bhikave, dukanti nasanya vipalaso, na chitta vipalaso, na ditti vipalaso. Anattani bhikave, anattati nasanya vipalaso, na chitta vipalaso, na ditti vipalaso. Asube bhikave, asubanti nasanya vipalaso, Na chitta vipalaso, na ditti vipalaso. Imeko bhikave, 
Chattaro, na Sanya Vipalasa, na Chitta Vipalasa, na Diti Vipalasa Ti. Very good. Excellent. Now, do you, do you understand only difference here from the first paragraph is na, na, na. Na sanya vipallas, na chitta vipallas, na ditti vipallas. Uh, everything, you know, except na, na is the only you know, additional letter here. Yeah. So chattaro may be kave na sanya vipallas. So, you know, people have no erroneous uh, sanya, wrong sanya, or no distortion. That is, that's actually. Uh, how do you describe in Pali if there is no distortion? There is a special uh, word uh, to describe that situation. What is it? Samaditi. Yeah, it's, it's Samaditi. You could actually describe it in many different words. You know, Arya, Arya Darsana or Dasana, or you could say Yatha. Yatha bhuta jnana dasana. Yatha bhuta jnana dasana. Yatha bhuta. Yatha means, you know, how. Bhuta means how it came into being. Jnana, knowledge. And uh, view, you know, dasana is vision or view, view, but vision, visionary view. So, yatha, it is called yatha bhuta jnana dasana, not vipallasa dasana. Vipallasa is a distorted view, but uh, yatha bhuta is uh, as it, not, not as it is, but as it came into being, how it came into being. You know, it's wrong, wrong, there is a wrong translation. You've got to be careful. Some people translate it as, as it is, not as it is, because, you know, people, people think common sense, common sense, uh, you know, people use the word term common sense. Common sense is, uh, is a national disgrace. <laughs> you know, when you say common sense, oh, it is common sense. What is common sense? It is because common. Sorry. <laughs> it's also not that common. It is not that common, exactly. Yeah. So I mean, people, I mean, see how the language say common sense that you know if everybody's view. If it is it's the biggest problem in the world, isn't it? <laughs> people, yeah. If you are so saying, it's not your sense, you don't uh, fit society and you don't understand, you're just rejected. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Mikhail, yeah. Yeah, I just want to say that uh, I have a teacher. Uh, I mean, our department on philosophy at the whole is really into common sense philosophy. And I'm always disagreeing with them. <laughs> because <laughs> like, I think you. like, like, every, like, that's exactly, I cannot agree on anything. <laughs> because it's all the common sense uh, metaphysics, yeah. as they call yeah. it. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so majority view, you know, majority view always is a delusion. <laughs> you know, I'm afraid, you know. Um, so common sense, majority view, all of these, right? Okay, so let's let's actually, we can actually, uh, you know, we can get to the, now the Buddha very nicely, very kindly give us some stanzas to memorize this. And we can actually, um, tabulate this now. We can put that into a table, okay? This is, this is the vipallas of all oh, distorted view. Whose view is this? The worldly. Uh, huh? the, the worldly. Uh, yeah, worldly, you know, worldling, putujan, yeah. Putujana. Now this is the Putujana. Putujana is always in the wrong territory. I'm afraid. You know, this is the common sense. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, with regard to Anicca, Anicce Nicca Sanya. 
So now these are these are actually three levels of ignorance, three layers of ignorance. The, the sanya level, chitta level, and ditti level. So we will discuss that those uh, in in a minute. Uh, so anicca, anicca, anicca can be you know all this. You know now the putujana get wrong in all these spheres. Dukkha. Uh, all three, anatta, all three, asubha. So, so the ordinary whirling is in the red, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, and what happens when you when somebody has the yatha bhuta jnana dasana? Yatha yatha bhuta jnana dasana. If you have yata bhuta jnana dasana, this is how oh, you are all in the green now. Yeah. So aniche, aniche, aniche uh, at the sanya level. Aniche, aniche sanya. Aniche, aniche chitta. Aniche, aniche ditti. Dukhe, dukha sanya. Uh, dukhe, dukha chitta, dukhe, dukha ditti, anatte, anatta sanya, anatte, anatta chitta, anatte, anatta ditti, asubha, asubha, you know, sanya, asubha, asubha chitta, asubha, asubha ditti, yeah? Um, are you, are you, are you, are you, do you follow this now? Yeah, very clear, right? Okay, now I want you to do some homework. So, okay. Now you have this this sort of a situation. Uh, I want I want to see now. Now you already know. You already know who is in the red. You already know who is in the green. Yeah, but you don't know there are there are three others in the middle. Yeah, <laughs> do you get that? Um, so who are they? Now let's uh, maybe let's put um, this. Sorry. Maybe. Maybe like when they're like three mentors and oh, uh, very good. Pages. Yeah, Keep progressing. Oh, excellent. Maybe Arahant at the end, and then oh, excellent. I of course forgot the names, but I can look for them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, the, so the three mentors yeah. like Sotapana. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Now, on the path, there are these four stages, uh, right? The Sotapanna. The Sotapanna, Sotapanna destroys all Ditti. Um, Sotapanna destroys Anicca Chitta. Anic, you know, Anicca, um, anic, you know, uh, you know, Anatta Ditti. Uh, ditti, or ditti and chitta, um, but but he's he still has you know he has out of twelve he has got four wrong. Why has he got got those four wrong? So, so he I still think... has dukhe. Sukha sanya, dukhe sukha sanya. Um, suffering as, huh? he, he's suffering as pleasure, or like yeah, exactly. No, you know, I mean, in the in the suffering he has, I mean, but he 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 doesn't have a ditti, which is good good news. Otherwise, uh, you know, that'd be in trouble. You know, because that's why that is 
That is why it is irreversible change. Satori, you know, if you are in this, uh, you, you, your ditti is all gone. Your sakkaya ditti is gone. So therefore, you don't have a ditti of any type. But you don't have, you have actually chitta, anicca chitta. But dukkha is still his, he retains, uh, you know, from time to time, he retains sukha sanya, sukha, sukha chitta. Yeah? Uh, asubha sanya, asubha chitta. Yeah, that is, that's the difference between. You know, that, that the, the Asutava Putujjana and the Sutava Arya Savak. So, 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 now, he, so could you say that he's still attracted to worldly things then? To, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's, he still has attachment. Uh, you know, worldly things. Yeah. And you still, um, he, still, he still, still likes to go in the merry-go-round. He still enjoys them, although it's <laughs> it's dukkha. Well, well, I mean, you know, anybody can enjoy it, but enjoyment is something. But he has a, he has a, now this sanya and chitta. Now those they, these are crucial words. Sanya chitta. Um, so he's attached um, to it. He's attached. He to it. he actually habitually falls into it. Uh, and that is habitually. Now this is habitual, you know, habitually falls into it. Uh, and and uh, in the next sutta that we are discussing, uh, the Buddha talks about uh, how that happens. Yeah, because he he reprimands himself. Ah, you know, I, I mean, it is not that he doesn't know, but but even knowingly you fall into it. Yeah. Um, Sanya. This is the problem with sanya, and 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 chitta. Yeah. Um, and and it is the same thing with asubha. So out of twelve, he has he has uh, managed to knock off eight, the four remaining. Okay. And then what happens to uh, what happens to the uh, sakadagami? Sakataga means one return, once re sorry, once return. So once return, um, he is not not necessarily in the red. He's he's just clearing the red up a bit. Yeah, he's becoming orange now. <laughs> yeah. So be careful when you become orange. Okay. Um, <laughs> Funny the, yeah. the suffering is the hardest. Uh... Sorry? Is it funny that the suffering is the hardest to like overcome? Here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 in this area of suffering. I mean, you know, dukkha. Uh, but but the but the good news is, good news is now this guy, DT is the one who who actually changed the color. Yeah, because he has got the DT here, and now he's he's able to. Now that's a really important point because you know uh, it is the ditti. This guy is the one who is messing up. You know, now now this 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 four um, ditti um, is that is called sakkaya ditti. Yeah, so that's you know when when that is that is sorted. Uh, then, then you know, see the color is changing now, um, and he gets he gets into now now in the when you the the anagamis you know non return non returner has even knocked off. I mean he's the only he has only two, um, you know. But but in the it is in the territory of fading away. Yeah. But is belief it, is mm, always like easier to overcome, right? Like it seems like it. So is that again? That belief, like it, like deity. Uh, so it's like more like belief that we have, right? Yeah, deity. Deity is this 
erroneous view like mm -hmm. now now it is like you know you are wearing wearing a pair of glass i mean this is now if i am actually wearing a you know a yellow color glass you know from birth i will see everywhere i see i see it's all yellow yeah so <laughs> so that that, that is, you know, you really have to take this thing off. Uh, now that's what the this this ditty does. It's taken it off now. Oh wow! So you see that yatha bhut, um, yeah. yeah. Uh, so it, it is. It's this sakaya ditty which is perverting the view. It's like more condition. Yeah. Uh, Mika, yeah. Oh, yeah. I just thought that the I noticed the asubha, and I didn't that the the it seems like important because it's a, a like attractive, like being attracted to, and then it kind of seems like uh, the as we as the, the there's the progression on the path, then the asubha must uh, disappear in terms of sanya and chitta because that's the being attracted to being reborn. So, so, so it would seem that on the second stage, on the cheetah level, the, this attraction is no longer there. So one is uh, once returner, and mm -hmm. only when that attraction to the to to rebirth fades, mm -hmm. then we progress. So it's uh, yeah, what's well, important, uh, the DT part yeah. of Asuba. Yeah. Now you didn't ask me the question. You know how. How do you how do you arrive in this this sort of I mean of course um, of course you know the, in the sutra the sutra warrants these two like you know this this part I mean you know th this part and this part is already warranted by the sutra and but you didn't ask me where did you get this yeah. Um, so where did you get this? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> See, now you're asking. I'm going, not going to tell you now. Uh, it's a bit too late. Um, <laughs> actually, it's in a commentary called Patisambhida Magga. Patisambhida Magga. Uh, uh, so, Patisambhida Magga is a uh, um, you know, it is, it's, you know, in one of my volumes, um, the, it, it is the commentary given by the Arahants. Um, so the Arahants actually discuss the details. Uh, when the Buddha gives the, um, I mean, give, gives a general discourse, the Arahant actually gives further details on those. And, uh, and that the, the, those details really come from the Patisambhida Magga commentary. Now, this is a commentary, by the way. Yeah. So, and, and, and is, is the Arahant, is it, has he got a name or, or is, it, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mostly, mostly, I mean, the discussion is between the Sariputta and uh, Mahakotita. Mahakotita, I mean, there are these uh, 80 great disciples. I mean, a um, lot of them, I mean, out of them, like Anuruddha, um, Mahakotita, Ananda, um, who else? Uh, Mahakachana, uh, those, those great disciples, they discuss actually amongst themselves uh, I think I think for the benefit of us, I mean, you know, uh, why would why would they bother about discussing these things once you are all in green, you know? <laughs> you just you are through, you just yeah, you can uh, drive home. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They they're all through, but uh, but they discuss it for uh I mean Sariput uh, um what is what's very special about him is um, when when the Buddha gives one discourse, one teaching, he understands it in hundred different ways. I mean, he's a kind of a, um, bright, bright uh, uh, disciple. Yeah. So, 
So uh, the Patisambhida Magga is, is that discussion between uh, Mahakotita and Sariputta mostly, but there are other disciples as well. So when you, when you read the canon, uh, you should, you know, consider reading some of the commentarial uh, literature as well. I mean, this is also part of the canon anyway. So, um, I mean, sadly, some of the later uh, commentaries, I mean, there are commentaries and sub-commentaries. Um, uh, and then, and, and, you know, sub-commentaries to sub-commentaries. <laughs> yeah, commentaries, sub-commentaries, and sub-commentaries to sub-commentaries, yeah. So now these, all these uh, later ones are not as insightful as this. Um, so, but, but, you know, of course, they all discuss the Dhamma, yeah? Yeah. Well, well, okay. Translated the uh, commentaries? The first ones you were talking about? Uh, I can't hear you. Oh, sorry. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, are the uh, commentaries uh, also translated or are they only in Pali? Ah, uh, some of them are actually translate. Uh, you know, well, I don't think all of them have been translated, but but there are some commentaries translated. Um, this is exact. This is why you should learn Pali, you know, because some of this they are not translated actually. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, I know uh, some some have been translated, but but again, mind you, uh, translations can also be misleading. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh, uh, Sunil, you 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 a few uh, minutes ago you said you're gonna gonna say something more about Sanya, Chita, and Diti. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to do that. So let's take a break, uh, ten minutes break, and uh, and then uh, discuss a little bit more. Okay. Yeah. All right, folks. Uh, could you maybe put this uh, the, because I sh I saw you showing this party some Hinda Maga yeah version can could you put yeah. it the, the the version you have in the, the chat so we can search that version that the one you have because is it in English or is it in oh I mean you see you see the, the I mean there are these PTS translations you know P Pali Tech Society they have translated pretty much every book. Yeah, into English, but I think I think it may be available in Dutch as well. Uh, I'm pretty sure because uh, you have had a lot of uh, you know really good scholars. Um, but 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 again, there is there is actually um, you know getting into the core of the meaning may not necessarily be that straightforward. So that's why, uh, you know, one has to really discuss and reflect on this a uh, bit more, yeah? So let's, let's take a short break and come back uh, within 10 minutes, yeah? Okay. So Atamitra, is it, is it helpful? Uh, yeah, I found very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. How are you, Keith? Um, I don't have such a low threshold of interest. <laughs> <laughs> so what what did you say? My threshold of interest is not quite so low. <laughs> not quite oh. So low. <laughs> what does that what does that mean? I'm not with you. <laughs> you <left me> <laughs> That's good. That's a really good sign. Yes, of course it is. That's why I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you if you understand, that's a big problem. You know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, Badeji. How are you? 
Are you ready to? Are well, you... Huh? Buddha puja. Oh, oh, okay. This is this is lunch time for you, right? Yeah. I see. Buddha so... puja. <laughs> Are you in the United States, uh, Damaratna? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's Is in, he in uh... Las Vegas. Yeah, <laughs> Las Vegas. <laughs> oh, please. I'm in Vegas. Yeah, yeah. And what is visit... Vantage? Yeah. Is it like a <laughs> vulnerable G or like what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sounds well, like you're oh, in vulnerable, right. vulnerable, vulnerable. Yeah, vulnerable. You could like uh, it would like an uh, artistic pseudonym could be. <laughs> yeah. So where is your cat today? He's not interested in Pali today, no? Yeah, this is my dog. Pali, listen. Your cat. Your cat. No doggish. I have the same dog. <laughs> Oh, really? really? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think we, when we were chanting, your cat used to come um, and, and join us. Today I don't yeah. see him. No, see him. Yeah. Oh. Huh? So, uh, Keith Keith thinks chanting is a cat's job. You know. <laughs> yeah okay folks uh, welcome back uh we'll 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 uh, just just uh, discuss this uh, you know talk about um sanya and ditti and and it is connected to connection to chitta yeah um yeah so uh, as you know, I mean, now we, we all understand kind of what is Sanya from, from our last Sutta. Sanya is, is our uh, perception. Yeah, Sanya. Um, chitta and Ditti. Ditti. So, I mean, <clears throat> so out of the three, um, Sanya actually feeds, Sanya feeds into Chitta and Ditti, you know, feeds into Chitta. Um, and there is, you know, both, both Sanya and Chitta, you know, they, they actually, I, I, I think I think I think together they form this thing, doesn't it? So when you you know and and this comes from the Madhupindika Sutta. We again again I mean if we have time, uh, Madhu Pindika. Uh, it is honey bowl, honey bowl Sutta. We will do, you know talk about it uh, later on. Um, it, it's a you know it, it talks about I and the form chakuncha paticha rupecha upajati chaku vinyana. So the I and the form, and the uh, uh, you know it, it produces the I consciousness. Yeah, tinan sangati passo three together. Uh, you know, is in contact, pasapacha vedana, and and because of pas, because of contact, vedana uh, arises. Yang vedeti tang sanjana ti, and now that's the job of sanya. Yeah, yang vedeti. Um, it is, it's actually when, when it comes in the form of like, dislike, or neutral, 
then you have you form the sanya. Yeah. Yang sanjanati tan vitakketi. Now that is this this line here. Yang sanjanati tan vitakketi. So whatever is cognized, recognized, is you know. Actually, vitaketi yang vitaketi tang papancheti. Now the papanches are formed. Now, now chitta chitta is this is another word for sankar, isn't it? Sankar. So this is uh, sankar. So um, the, those sankaras actually come into existence because of because of ditti, isn't it? Sakaya ditti. So it is, it's actually a feeding cycle. Um, because of ditti, you know, now remember the biggest ditti is called Sakaya ditti. Yeah. Sakaya ditti is the personality. I mean, it's translated, translated as this is the is person interview sat kaya sat kaya diti becomes sat kaya diti yeah so now now this is the biggest problem when you have the diti part and then your it feeds into chitta it feeds into sanya as well so it's it's actually a it's a it's a full you know cycle yeah so this whole cycle you know goes on now this is actually this is the sankara i mean sorry the samsara you know the sansaras come into being because of you know uh, and 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 you have the wrong view ditti and then you have wrong perception you have uh, you know so therefore your sankara your chitta is always perverted you know and that's another word for distortion um Vipallasa. Vipallasa is perversion. Yeah, perversion. Um, so this um, now, now, now you see um, the the Madhupindika Sutta explanation. Basically, you know these internal uh, faculties and the external objects, and then uh, to contact of the two, and then producing this perception, mental formation, and so on. So, yang sanjana ti tang vitakketi. So, yang vitakketi tang papancheti. Now, see this circle, this circle can, you know, can also be corrected. Now, ditti, if the, if the sakaya ditti is gone, and it is replaced, it replaced with the samma ditti. Yeah, samaditi. So it doesn't mean that arahant or Aryans are not having sanya, but their sanya is is totally different. And like, remember, we talked about um, a stanza. You know, asanya na sanya sanyi na visanya sanyi. You know, no pia sanyi na vibhuta sanyi. So the, um, the it is free from the, it is free from this uh, this delusion. So therefore, it's it's informed by the samaditi. So therefore, that sanya does not does not form sankaras, um, and and there is no feeding cycle. The cycle is broken. Yeah, Atamitra. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. but. In the scheme that you just showed before, yeah, yeah, the, the diti was green, so there was some aditi, but the yeah. sanya was still orange. Or so, ah, how... ah, good question. Yeah, yeah, some no, some the sanya, 
sanya um uh oh oh good it's a, it's a really good question so what you are asking is then when somebody has the samadhi still the sanya why does he get get into this uh model yeah? yeah now it is not that he's getting into model i mean it is get he's getting into model but only in the two areas uh the area is uh sukha and subha uh you know because it's a it's a habit cycle it's a habit so like like you know sometimes we understand you know sm smoking is horrible it's, you know, but you you know when you uh, you, you say okay uh, i'm going to smoke anyway yeah so it, habitually you get into it and, and actually that question is answered in our next sutta which we are going to discuss it's called um it's called uh, mula pariyaya sutta the buddha buddha gives a really uh, good sermon and, and the monks <laughs> did not understand a word of it you know exactly like what keith said the monks monks said oh you know um we we you know it says he, they were really unhappy about that totally yeah so uh but mula pariyaya it there are actually three stages of three stages uh 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 yeah, you know let, let's let's let me just get an example uh manyati Manyati and Ma. It's not Mu this time, kid. Ma Manyati. And Na Manyati. Yeah, now there are there, this, this, this. Uh, Manyati is now the, this is the guy, this is the ordinary person. I mean, literally, this means mind, mind in the in the uh, in the context of mind, minding something. Okay, manyati is assumes or takes or think or whatever it happens. So for this this guy, automatically, totally with delusion because of the T, it's his nature is manyati. Um, but the you know the, this is this is the seka seka and this is aseka aseka so aseka is the arahan and seka is the sotapan anagami uh, so, and and sakadagami so this guy say mamany mamanyati mamanyati means He's reprimanding himself. He he said, "Oh, you know, you you did it now. That means that you you know you are say um, watch it or be careful. Oh, ma ma means actually don't. Literally, it means don't. Uh, so he knows that he does he shouldn't do this, but habitually he falls into it. But he recorrects it." He corrects it because his ditty is clear. Yeah. So um, he he falls into the sanya, but he does not carry, I mean, uh, he is not acting on the delusion. He's, he's in the process of clearing. Yeah. Actually, you know, he falls. So now the uh, Arahant. On the other hand, not move. Yeah, it's a mice. Now this is the, this arahant is not move. You know, uh, so does not fall into it. And but this guy, he's he's telling himself or he's correcting himself um, every time he falls into the trouble. He is fully aware his ditti is clear so therefore he is fully aware but you know 
in 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 some areas, especially those areas like you know attachment and aversion, raga and this. So it is still uh, lingering around him. Yeah. So, but the but the process, the clearing process has started for him. So therefore, it it there is no way that he can go back in the cycle because he's knocked off the ditty. Yeah. Yeah. Um, does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. So, so it's, in a way, uh, also, it's it's difficult to sort of to if. If you talk about Sanya and Chitta and Diti, it's, it's difficult to, to sort of see them as separate entities. I mean, that you can't see them as separate. Exactly. Entities. No, no, no. This, this is not to, not to separate. I mean, these are, these are intrinsically connected. Yeah. Um, I, I, this is the nature of the Patik Samuppada as well, because, you know, we are se separating, segregating it. Uh, in our own way, just for the explanation. I mean, the Buddha says, I'm I'm trying to explain it to you, <laughs> you know, but, uh, uh, you know, good luck uh, if you understand it, you know, and good yeah. luck if you don't. Yeah. So, um, so basically it's, when you, when you explain it, uh, you have to cut and, you know, show this, but, but they, they are actually all operating together. Yeah. yeah, and the the, the yeah. scheme that the scheme that you earlier showed does sort of suggest that Sanya and Chita were green and and Diti of all the way around. But so they, they suggest in a way that they're separate entities. But that of course a bit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, 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 no. I mean, I mean, but the, but the pro. I mean, I think the um, the explanation in the Dharma is that Diti, um, Diti is a sort of a solidified. So, solidified level where it is like a concrete, you know, di, di, because a dittincha anupagam, the Buddha says, don't fall into the ditti. Uh, so the, uh, actually the Sotapanna's biggest achievement is, is knocked off uh, that concrete. Now that is broken. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? Um, but, but, you know, broken irreparably. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, it's 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 a it's 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 a tricky one. Now, um, I want to actually draw your attention to another interesting uh, one. Now, see, um, <laughs> the Buddha said, "Aniche nicha sanya." Yeah, aniche nicha. Sanya Hachita Diti, right? So Aniche, uh, you know, this one. Um, <clears throat> so what do you think? What do you think is, oh, Where has it gone? Okay. Well, um, what do you think? I mean, aniche nicha sanya. What is the what is the opposite of this? What's the opposite of this? Opposite of what? Opposite of of the opposite of this aniche nicha. The op is the aniche aniche, isn't it? Aniche is impermanence. Huh? Yeah, anicca is impermanent. Yeah, anicca, uh, you know, anicca nicca versus anicca anicca, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but I, I you what, know, what I is, want what to. Is the, uh, yeah. What is the anicca ending in an e then? The first one, anicca. Oh, what aniche is... in, yeah, that is the, that's the locative case, aniche, aniche okay. in the aniche, you know, it is the case, we have not discussed cases yet, in, in, uh, in the aniche, yeah, that is why aniche, yeah, 
aniche anich aniche niche sanya but but this is the right one yeah this is the wrong one um but the wrong one i mean you know there there are there are the, the other corollary to this is niche aniche sanya isn't it Do you, do you understand what I'm talking about? No, I'm sorry. I'm not with you. Okay. So, aniche, aniche niche sanya can also, like now this is the Buddhist delusion. This is the non-Buddhist delusion. <laughs> yeah. This is non-Buddhist delusion. Yeah, so what does this it exactly the, say? It, it it says in permanence there is impermanence. That's what Anicca Nietzsche says. How would you translate yeah. that? Yeah, Anicca, in the in the impermanence, you are assuming permanence. Ah, so, so yeah. Or the other way right? around. Yeah. yeah. And and but the problem is there are people, pe you know, the Buddhist delusion. Is anicca now? They oh, they say anicca. Uh, you know, you you actually see the anicca of the nicca one. Yeah, you you use. Uh, I mean, this is a it's a difficult one. Oh, but uh, yeah, you know, you you are forming something. Now oh, there is there exists a man, a person, and the man, the person's nature is impermanent. Okay, so you are pretty much uh, seeing the impermanence and an assumed entity already. Yeah, so so Buddhists are not necessarily free from delusion. Actually, that is the that's the worst type of delusion. Now, this is the I mean, you know, ordinary people always take. Oh, things as they are. <laughs> That's what we call. It. And, and and we Buddhists, we say, oh, you know, uh, the nature of these existing things is impermanence, in dukkha and anatta, and that is that is actually no different from this. I mean, it is actually even worse. Um, so. So that that is that's another ditti. You no, know, this is a ditti. Yeah. Now that's a blind spot. Yeah. But um, how can you how how can you avoid this blind spot, you know? I mean, it, you can't exactly. Can Exactly. <laughs> How can you avoid the blind spot? Good question. Um, any help? I think we need to uh, ask a philosopher. Uh, Mikhail, well, do you not, have not... an answer? No, I was just thinking that the Pali lessons, <laughs> because we gain dit right Diti, and then maybe we can hope for later Sanya and Chitta transformation. But I think first, uh, the, this is the pointing out of the uh, the wrong way of thinking, then we are getting towards the right deed. And then that's how the blind spot in perception and uh, Chita will in time and yeah. the, the work. Yeah. Time? Yeah. What does time got to do with it? Uh, maybe not time, but uh, practice. Mm, okay. Practice, I agree. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, I, I was about to say, not, not holding on to. to... To concepts of and then of course also not to the concepts we learn here because that's that's the dt is kind of a concept is it not would you not say so soon now now this is actually discussed in the sabbasava sutta another sutta called sabbasava where the buddha talks about all types of dt's if you want a reference for this 
it's a long one, Sabha Seva. Probably we have to take it up in our second course. Pali, this is Pali Sutra 101, and that is the, you know, you know, 200 something. Okay, so that will be so Sabasava Sutta, where this is also a ditti. Um, uh, and 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 uh, the, the Buddha says all dittis need to be eradicated, eliminated. Yeah. Um, and the, and the difficult part is now, now see forming a nietzsche. Now you form you form you are accepting aggregate love. Now you have already actually subscribed to this is this is upadan, yeah. Upadan. Remember we talk about upadan. Clinging, yeah. So, yeah. yeah, clinging. You have already clung to an existing one. And that then you are looking at the, you know, the existing one is in this type. Yeah, anicca, dukkha, anatta, yeah, asubha. So, uh, you know, so we are, we are actually, we can do, we can carry on like that. And that is, that's, that's the danger. That's the blind spot. Yeah. And, and this is why you say anicca. Now, now what is, you know, impermanent, impermanence is like um, the Buddha says impermanence. Yada nichang tan dukkhang. Yada, ya, yad anichang. Tang. Dukkham. If something is anicca, that is definitely dukkha. Uh, yam dukkham. Tadanatta. Anatta. So, so this is how Anicca, dukkha, anatta are two facets. Two, you try, you know, are, are the same, same thing. Yeah. So, uh, anatta. So, but 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 in the ordinary world, that's not the case because when when the pandemic becomes anicca, it becomes sukha, not dukkha. Yeah, <laughs> so therefore it is contradictory. Um, it does not meet the criterion here. So now that's 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 what we really need to look out, be careful about. Um, and, and the and the Buddha's wisdom is he uh, he actually, you know, formulated in such a way that these are called three characteristics of existence. Um, so therefore, the nature is so intrinsically, you know, um, bound uh, with each other. Are you with me or not? Hmm. Yeah. All of you? Most of you? Some of you? None of you? <laughs> Some. So, so how would you to say yang dukang tad anatta? Yeah, yang dukang that which is that which is dukkha is anatta. Okay. So anicca dukkha anatta are not three separate things. Hmm. They are like you know prism. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how do you draw a prism? But th those characteristics, they they um, they disappear when there's nirvana, isn't it? Exactly. I mean, when you when you when you actually knock off your ditti, right? When when you have knocked off the ditti, and you have already seen the nirvana, 
you have seen the nirvana. Um, and that, that this is why the Sotapanna is so powerful. Uh, I mean, his samsaric existence dropped down to six lives, you know, not more than that. So uh, now see the, this um, enormous number of, you know, uh, existence. Uh, you know, there is no limit. There is no limit to how many, you know, samsara is so, I mean, that that whole samsara, you know, uh, becomes, you know, just limited to six lifetimes. Now see, so therefore the Buddha, Buddha, Buddha actually discusses and praises the uh, dhammo, the the sota panna is the one who has seen it the tadammo patta is he has attained it his his achieved yeah the tadammo patta dammo vidita vidita dammo uh pariyogal dammo dammo vigata katan katu you know uh, there, there is no, there is no this way, that way, uh, doubt. Yeah, vigata kathankato, vesara japato, aparpachyo satu I mean, there is a long list, long list uh, of about, you know, epithets to describe the sotapanna. This is sotapanna. Uh, so, so the Buddha says. Uh, becoming sotapanna is like um, uh, is is better than being the the emperor king of the entire world. You know, is a pataubia ekarajen sagasa gamanenava sabaloka di pachen sotapati palangvara. He says uh, attaining sotapati is uh, better than becoming. The president of the United States, or the um, Saka, or the, you know um, everything, you know all the worlds. Sotapan is is a, is a victory. It's sort of a winner, yeah. Victor. So that is praised so much in the Sotapatti Sangyutta, uh, in the Sangyutta Nikaya, yeah. So. That is because of uh, this ability. The ditti is broken down. Once the ditti is broken down, the root is uprooted. Yeah. So, um, are you with me or without me? <laughs> so, so, um, Any questions, folks? Yeah, well, if I may. <clears throat> yes, please. Yeah. Uh, so just before you were talking again about the three, uh, uh, I don't know how to call them. I mean, Anu Anicca, Dukkha and Anatta. Uh, They're called three characteristics of existence. Yeah, yeah exactly. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. they, at first sight, they see, if you say it like that, there are three characteristics of existence. It sounds as if they are like, mm, well, characteristics, <laughs> like they're equal. But in some sense, they're not, uh, in the sense that Dukkha doesn't need to be, always need to be there. Mm. And... Another thing is that often in, in the in the scriptures, the Buddha uh, refers to them in this in this same sequence. Like he's asking, is form permanent or impermanent? Mm -hmm. uh, it's impermanent. Oh, but if it's impermanent, so next there's then of course the uh, uh, yeah the dukkha, and then finally he says, but if if then it's anicca and dukkha, then of, then you cannot say that the rupa is is. Uh, uh, is is the self, hmm. so they're they're not 
we are on an equal level, it seems to me. They are kind of uh, successive. And yeah. Kind of is, um, um, yeah, if you say they are the three characteristics, it's it sounds like they're on an equal level and they're all supporting reality, yeah. as it were. But that's that's not the case, I think. Or no, no, no. I mean, you know, yeah, exactly, exactly. I mean, you can't, you can't say that they are at the same levels, uh, but they are not different levels either. It is, that is the nature of the Parit Samupada because um, this is what Nagarjuna says, actually, you know, Anirodha, Anutpada, Anucheda, Ashaswata, Anekar. So he, 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 he talks about eight characteristics of, of the Paticca Samuppada. Um, they are, I, I mean, you know, when it, when it comes to understanding them, they are not, they are not uh, uh, disconnect, they are not one and the same thing either. So, mm -hmm. Um, but, 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 you know, one, when one realizes the anicca, one is essentially realized, one has essentially realized dukkha and anatta both. So there is no way that one can understand anicca, but not dukkha and anatta. Yeah. Uh, mm. And this, the evidence comes from the anicca sanya sutta. The Buddha says, it's like, you know, um, you have, you have, real, but, but there are, there are different levels of understanding. You know, one can, one can understand how, um, one can understand. So this is the, this is the, the Sotapanna's, Sotapanna's, uh, there is no issue of understanding level, but, but there is a, there is an issue with the practical level. Yeah. Uh, so, so no, you are right. They are not. They are not necessarily the same thing. But, but it is like it's like a like a um, great ocean. I mean, this is called vimukti mukha. Vimukti mukha. He just was uh, entrance to the ocean, entrance to the liberation. Uh, the one who develops, one who develops anicca, uh, he has the three, three levels. Uh, let's clear this. Um, so anicca culminates in, uh, that's called animitta. Uh, dukkha culminates in up up nihita and anatta culminates in sunyata yeah now what does this means animitta the opposite of opposite of animitta is uh, nimitta. Nimitta, I mean, can can be understood as uh, sign, sign, yeah, sign, um, some sort of a sign. So when when something when uh, you know you know when some some sign is retained in the mind, you, you have no anicca sanya. Uh, the, the, the vimukti mukha, uh, it is of, of anicca, is called animitta, animitta. So his, his mind is totally free, uh, utterly, totally free. Uh, and dukkha, uh, you know, when one when one actually, but these are actually three entrances to the same realization. Apranihita. This is there is no place, no base 
yeah this the meaning of this one is no base uh animita sunyata is empty yeah so now these are actually three entrances to the great uh, nirvana this is uh, called vimutti mukha so it's called and the, it, the doors of liberation aren't they? The, correct yeah doors of liberation correct yeah so now now it is like i mean to give you an example i mean you you can enter the same house uh, in three different doors um and and they you 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 know once you enter you have entered it and it 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 cannot be undone yeah it could be in any of these doors uh, but and the other thing is once you have entered you are in the house i mean you know to uh, don't take the example too far but it is it's just uh, the three doors of liberation that means entry entry points yeah so it, it these what this do is they they explain the different characteristics different characteristics of of the or different you know um you know looking at different sides um of of the nibbana so this is why you know the buddha says if you understand sunyata you've done it if you understand anicca you've done it if you understand dukkha you've done it <laughs> you know so uh, but but how much do you understand dukkha you know there are there are actually three levels of dukkha uh dukkha dukkata and sankara uh, you know viparinama dukkata and sankara dukkata uh, the problem is problem is you know people understand dukkha dukkata and people understand viparinama dukkata but they have no understanding of sankara dukkata until you understand sankara dukkata i mean all three levels of course understand now when you understand sankara dukkata you understand both yeah so now that is this is this is the sota patti level this is where the arya you know the yatha bhuta jnana dasaro samaditti yeah arya level uh, and and the, there is this explanation explanation in the patisambhida mag commentary again uh so when you i mean all this all this nitty gritty uh, details are found there so the sankar i mean lot of people uh, and, the, and the buddha actually challenges the buddha says the problem of the world is not that they understand dukkha but they don't understand it you know and therefore they stand under it as <laughs> ajal sumedho says you you either understand or stand under it yeah does it also mean that um, that although we think that we we don't experience dukkha there there is there is still there is dukkha inevitable i mean because we are conditioned there is dukkha only we don't realize that there's continuous dukkha yeah exactly you see uh, that is that's a good comment uh, atamitra because see a lot of people are say a lot of people's understanding is loke loke dukho patitito but actually what the buddha said dukhe uh loko patitito yeah so patitita means uh, you know it is it is it is in there it is there patitito so so um 
a lot of people think think the world world has dukkha in it in it and though so our job is to remove that dukkha and the, and there will be the, the there is a world where the where there is no dukkha but the buddha's uh, explanation is the up, other way around so the world actually stands on the capital d hmm. Hmm. yeah dukhe loko patitthito dukhe loko patitthito not not loke dukho patitthito hmm. yeah Hmm. Yeah. Okay, folks. Uh, I think we are. We need a little bit of uh, qigong or kung fu or some some stretching. Uh, yeah, some stretching. Keith is an expert on uh, on those. Uh, probably, you know, one time maybe I can invite Keith to do a little bit of. Of uh, you know stretching, yeah. It will be in Chinese, not Pali. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know we will we will uh, understand still. Yeah, uh, Keith Keith actually does a lot of qigong, um, and uh, so is it is is kung fu and qigong the same thing or separate different? No um not really but they use similar building blocks it's like mm -hmm. using the alphabet <laughs> right um yeah. you can use the alphabet of these building blocks to fight <laughs> yeah use the same building blocks for your health <laughs> yeah would be the simplest way i could describe it so they have common components about them but the intention is quite different yeah yeah you know what? Uh, yeah, we need to we need to do a bit of uh, stretching, and we need to even. I uh, think Bante has been quite very quiet today. Yeah. <laughs> are you? Are you? Um, are you going to do a bit of a uh, bit of chanting for us, Bante? Yeah, I'm not quite. Oh, I'm ready to. Uh, I'm ready to chant in. You are always ready to chant. Very good. Yeah, yeah. Full sutta. Let's let's uh, let's have a look. <coughs> the was just... Sorry, um, you know this. This uh, remember we said we will we will chant these uh, verses at the end. Um, yeah, uh, it is. It's a, it's a really you know it's a good way to memorize uh, everything we talk about today. Uh, perhaps perhaps maybe Bante can help us. Can you? Yeah. Aniche niche sanino dukke cha sukh sanino. Anatanicha Atantati Asube Suba Sanino Micha Ditti Gata Sata Kitta Chitanta Visangino Te Yoga Sutta Tamaras Ayoga came in Jana Satta Satta got chanti Satta got chanti sang sarang Jati Maranaga Mino. Yadacha buddha lokasming upajanti babankara te mang dhammang pakasinti dukkupa samagaminang te sang sutantvana sapampanya 
साचित साचित पाच लादते अनिच्चे नो इस टोके अनिच्चांति what is that the Asunu, you are muted. We cannot hear you. Me? No. <laughs> oh, you can't hear me. Thank you. Uh, I was uh, whenever I I chant, I unmute and chant. You know. <laughs> so, so um, yeah. So aniche niche sanyino, dukhe ch sukha sanyino, anatta ch atta thi, asube sub sanyino. Micha di Tigata Satta Kitta Chitta Visanyino. This is actually beautiful uh, wording. Uh, so now these, these are the vipalasas, these are the distortions, perversions, right? And the Micha di Tigata Satta, you know, this the Satta means beings who are in this erroneous view, wrong view. Uh, kit Chitta visanyino. It's a it's a really good expression. Kitta chitta. Like now, remember last time we talk about uh, chewed up. Kitta chitta visanyino. Like you know, thrown overthrown by this visanyino is uh, totally engrossed and uh, deluded. Te yoga yutta maras. Maras, uh, to the Maras, Maria, Maras, demon. Yoga Yutta, they have actually given their neck. You know, the Yoga Yutta. Um, it is like, you know, when the, when the ox is uh, pulling the cart, you, you know, it's already tied to it. Like the Mara has, Mara has, uh, has uh, tight, you know, tightly tightened, uh, the grip uh, ayoga came in jana now they they are they are not actually uh, looking for any salvation satta gachanti sansara these beings go around the samsara jati marana gamino now jati marana sansara that is that's a sansara you know you you uh, you carry on um, proliferating the birth and death. Yadacha Buddha Lokas mean. Oh, the Buddhas, when the when the Buddhas uh, come to the world, Upajanti Pabhankara, you know, with this with this uh, wisdom and enlightenment, with this uh, light, te iman dhammang pakaseti, you know, they actually te means they. Imam Dhamma, this Dhamma, this Pakaseti uh, express to the world, Dukupa Samagamina. Now, this is to, to eradicate the suffering. Tesang Sutwa Sapanya. Sapanya means the wise people like you. Tesang uh, Sutwa, having heard these Buddhas uh, or the Dhamma, Sachitam. Uh, so this is Sachittam. Now they have actually come to senses. It's a beautiful expression again. They have come to senses. Anichang um, anichato dukkam dukkha dukkha So now they are actually uh, seeing anicha as anicha, dukkha as dukkha. Anatta as anatta, asuba as asuba, uh, samaditi samadana, having attained the right view, sabbandukkang upajjaga, gunti, upajjaga. Uh, so they eradicate all the suffering. Now the Navamang is the ninth sutta, yeah? Okay. 
So basically, I, I hope I hope that was uh, of interest to you. Any questions? Was it tiring? Yeah. But to me, it was. <laughs> yes. I enjoyed it. Thank you. You enjoyed it. Okay, good. Good. Uh, folks, uh, I was like, I'm thinking of uh, holding the class on the 19th as well, because I was, I was going to cancel it. Uh, oh, oh, actually, in view of the Easter break. Um, because I, I, I'm planning to travel uh, at the end of the month. So I was wondering if it is okay. I mean, if you have any objection, I will not. Uh, can everybody make it on the 19th? Uh, oh, oh, brilliant. Okay, excellent. Um, I will be at work, but I will try to I'll still be online. So Okay. <laughs> yes. Um, but, uh, you know, thankfully, our Bhante is uh, very, very kind and he's uh, putting this on the YouTube. <laughs> yeah. So you could, you could, you know, participate uh, if you have missed anything, anyone. Oh, the cat is back. So oh, is it at the end of the lesson, the cat comes, you know? <laughs> yeah. No, no, he always comes in the chanting, you know? Oh, just, he's, yep, yep, uh, okay. he's attracted to Bante's chanting. So he's, he's slightly late now. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's, uh, you know, uh, he's learning Pali, I think. Listening cat. Um, yeah. So we will, you know, uh, we we will we'll hold the class on the on next week as well, oh. and and perhaps take a break uh, if you want to. You know, I really don't want to. But uh, if you want to, you can take a break. Um, but you will be ex excused. Uh, for those of you who are taking it for credit, you will be excused uh, for missing uh, at least one class, okay? If you miss more than one class, uh, you will have to stroke the cat for 50 times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> I think All he right. won't mind. I think huh? he uh, I think he agrees. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh wow. Um you know my son loves cats. Uh, we went to a you know friend's house. Uh if you know, if he sees this cat, he will join the class as well, Pali class. I don't know what's really going on. Um, so he probably must have been a cat in his previous life. Sudam, he's, uh, he's gone downstairs. So <laughs> anyway, um, so good to see you all. Uh, so we will then see you, see you next week. Uh, Bante, are you going to do some yeah. uh, some Dada. blessing for us, please? Okay. Totally yeah, amazing. I think you need our blessing as well because of the tornado, yeah? Yeah, tornado. <laughs> blessing of the yes. Dhamma. <laughs> Buddha Dhamma and the Sangha. Sabbhava Mangala Mupaddhava Dung Nimit Tang Sabbhi Tirok Gahado Samases Ninda Sabbhang Taraya Bayadot Supinang Kang Tang Buddha Nubhava Pavarin Payatuna Sang Sabbhava Mangala Mupaddhava Dung Nimit Tang sabbi tirok gahado samase saninda sabbang taraya bhaya dussu pinang akang tang dang manu bhava pavare na payatu na sang sabbava mangala mupaddava dung nimit Tang sabbi tirok gahado samase saninda 
सब्बंतराय भय दुत्सुपीन संघानुभाव पवरेन पया तो नुखी हो तो मे हैव ए लॉन्ग हेल्थी पीसफुल लाइफ साधु 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 थैंक यू बंदे यू आर सो काइंड कैन कैन आई ऑफर समथिंग what was that the mahamangala kata part of the mahamangala kata no after jina panjara uh, that is the uh, special gata buddha dhamma and the sangha salutations okay yeah i mean jina panjara is a really a very powerful chanting so you always do a very powerful chant in a beautiful way jina pandar majjag tang virang tang mahitale sada paleng to tang sabbe te mahapuri sasaba like that before you yeah. right <laughs> it is it's a reflections of the buddha qualities uh dhamma qualities and the sangha qualities really very powerful um the the amazing thing is like chanting i mean when you when you get attuned to chanting it's kind of a really good uh, peaceful meditation um even even you know children i have uh, i've seen uh you know really uh, like see my, my son we um, we chant uh, before we sleep and uh, it really help us uh, right? a lot yeah <laughs> He like it. Yeah. Thank, thank you, Bande. Thank, thank you so you much. Uh, so, so everybody, please uh, you. take care. Thank you. Take care of yourself. Yeah. Thank Enjoy you. Easter. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Thank you. All Good the night. best. All the Thank best. You. Good night. Bye. Bye.